Water that is flushed down the toilet or goes down a drain or sink is known as sewage. When we flush the toilet, wash our clothes, shower or do the dishes, the sewage travels through a network of underground pipes called sewers to a sewage treatment plant. Sewage is processed at one of eight sewage treatment plants across the central coast, located at Gwandalan, Mannering Park, Charmhaven, Tukli, Tugra, Bato Bay, Kincumber and Woiwoi. The sewage treated at these plants comes from households as well as industrial and commercial customers like restaurants and factories. Approximately 99.9% of the sewage treated is water. The remainder is made up of organic solid waste known as sludge, fats and oils, and other items that have been incorrectly flushed down the toilet or washed down a drain or sink. To maintain an efficient treatment process, ensure paints, chemicals and motor oils are never put down the sink or drain. Dispose of these items through chemical clean-out events or recycle motor oils and paints at community recycling centres free of charge. If these chemicals enter our plants, they can disrupt the effectiveness of the treatment process. At the treatment plant, non-biodegradable materials like wet wipes, cotton tips, tissues, nappies, syringes and sanitary products are screened and removed from the sewage. Smaller particles that are not large enough to be screened, such as sand and dirt, are removed in the grit chambers and separated out from the sludge based on their density. These items are washed and compressed before disposal to landfill. After the sewage is screened, it undergoes biological treatment through either the activated sludge or trickling filter process, depending on the treatment plant. The activated sludge process uses billions of tiny microbes that feed on the sludge component of the sewage to break down contaminants such as ammonia and phosphorus that can be harmful to the environment. These microbes need oxygen to survive so air bubbles are added into the tanks by aerators or air blowers. The trickling filter process also uses the power of microbes. A rotating sprinkler system delivers the sewage to a bed of filter media that houses the microbes that remove any harmful contaminants. The sludge, which has been broken down by microbes, is further separated out of the sewage, allowing treated water, known as effluent, to continue moving through the process. The separation occurs in settling tanks, where the microbes and sludge settle to the bottom of the tank. The microbes and sludge can be recycled back into the process, or further treated for use as biosolids in mine site remediation, or as a soil conditioner for fertilisers. The effluent can now be recycled at one of eight recycling plants, where it will be filtered and disinfected with chlorine and UV radiation. Council recycles approximately 650 million litres of water per year, which can be used for irrigation purposes and on-site cleaning at treatment plants. Treated effluent not used for recycling must meet environmental standards governed by the New South Wales Environment Protection Authority before being discharged into the ocean, ensuring our beaches, lakes and waterways remain healthy and safe for us all to enjoy. Effluent is released at one of three licensed ocean outfalls, located at Nora Head, Wonga Point and Winnie Bay. To help maintain the livability of our region and health of our waterways, it is important we all make smart water and sewer choices. You can make a difference by disposing of chemicals responsibly and only flushing the three P's, pee, poo and toilet paper. For more information, head to lovewater.centralcoast.nsw.gov.au.